Hey, what's up everyone? In this guide, I'm going to show you how I grind for gold. I made a very similar video about a year ago, but things have changed, and I wanted to take a look at some of the differences that have been caused by in-game inflation. This guide is extremely useful for new players that are struggling to get gold, and it's going to provide a very simple, streamlined way to put some coin in your pocket. To start off, you'll need to be part of a trading guild. This is pretty simple, but it can take some time while you wait for leadership to approve you. To join a guild, simply press P or navigate to this menu where you can click the guild finder and then click browse guilds. Select trading and then select a guild to apply for. I recommend joining one that has a trader in Mournhold or Vivek City because both of these locations have a very high trade flow. Once you're part of a trading guild, you will need to travel to Aradon. This is located here on the world map and you want to go to the Tanzel Will Way Shrine located here. Before we get too much further, I want to let you all know that the outcomes will vary between PC and console. The reason being is that there are far more players on PC than Xbox, and this has resulted in a faster inflation in the in-game economy. So bear in mind that the values will be different from what I am showing you on console, but the method should still be similar in value. To get to the desired location from the Tanzel Will Way Shrine, Simply follow this sped up gameplay and it will take you right where you need to be. Once you've made it here, just simply follow the map that I've drawn for you all. It's very well done. Just pull all of the bats drag them all over make sure to pull all of them from all the different locations get them in one area and just AOE them all by doing this it will kill them all and it will get a ton of hide in one grab it will also cause the respawns to be at the same time you can just run around and clear, clear this wave and then as you continue to follow the map you run around through all these blood thralls you just kill them get them out of the way be more, kill them, a couple more, kill those ones as well. And down at the bottom of the steps you'll find some skeevers, you can get more hide from them, and then you just run up and repeat the whole process. Most of the time you'll find that the bats are still there, sometimes they won't be. The spawns are kind of bugged when there are other players in the delve, so you have to look out for that. Sometimes while doing this method, you'll run into other players. When you do so, don't argue and fire with them over the kills. Just try to add them to a group and farm together. It makes things much easier and you won't have to worry about losing hide while you farm. After farming hide for an hour, I ended up with 418 rawhide scraps and 466 rubedo hide scraps. While I do have rawhide scraps, I'm going to count them as rubedo hide scraps when uh, calculating the full value, just because I don't have the skill upgraded. Um, this won't make too big of a difference for me. I don't really mind making less gold at the moment because I need my skill points. But keep in mind that I will be estimating it based on the rubedo hide scrap value. I went ahead and sold all of the uh, ornate items that I had as well as all of the gear that I had acquired while doing this. This came out to about 4,000 gold. I then went to my guild trader and sold all the intricate items that I had. This came out to 1,464 gold. After doing so, I went ahead and checked all the guild store locations in Mournhold to see what Rubedo Hide scraps would be valued at. I valued them at 220 gold. You could probably get more for them, but I like my stuff to sell fast. Since I valued the hide scraps at 220 gold, the total amount that they would come out to if I sold all of them would be 185,640 gold. And that's counting them all as rubedo hide scraps. So let's say you don't want to sell them as raw and you want to try and get some drill wax to sell that since it sells for such a high value. You're going to want to run around to all the other guild stores and check what they're selling for so you can get a good idea of what you would be selling for. 
I found that the lowest is 32,500. So I figured I'd go ahead and set that as my limit. In order for refinement to be worth it, I would have had to get six drew wax to make back the gold that I would get from just selling it as raw material. I went ahead and did this and I was unluckily only managed to get four drew wax. While it was disappointing to only get four drag wax from the refinement, I knew that I still had the rubato leather to sell. In total, I had about 1600 rubato leather, counting the raw hide leather as rubato leather. So here it shows that I only have about 800, but in total it's about 1600 since I'm counting the raw hide as the rubato. This in total sold for 30,492 gold. All right. Shown here is all the values of the stuff that I sold. Um, as you can see, the refined total value was much lower than the raw material total value. If I had gotten one more drag wax, it would have been over. So it truly is a gamble. If you think you're feeling lucky, go ahead and refine it. If you want to be on the safer side, I would just leave it as raw and sell it as raw material. All right, here we are, guys, in the home stretch. I want to talk real quick about the in-game inflation. I made the same video a year ago showing this gold farm and the difference I found was astounding actually. What was 91,000 gold in refinement then is now 165,000 gold refined. And what was 110,000 gold raw back then is now 191,000 gold raw. I recommend that you just stick to selling the raw materials and all the times that I've done this, I've only ever been lucky a couple of times. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the guide helpful and you use it whenever your pockets are running empty. Please take the time to subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.